What is the easiest, simplest way to get a crankbait to run deeper? Good morning, guys and girls. September uh, September 17, September 17, reading from the Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. You know we got nearly 30,000 people on that channel. That's right, nearly 30,000 people on that channel, and uh, and it's changed lives. It's uh, created a lot of friendships. Uh, it's created great prayers and many miracles God has produced because of all those prayers. So if you are not on the Catch a Better Life channel, get on that channel. Get on that channel today and, uh, and and just give it a couple, two or three weeks and check it every day. We post these videos at 5 o'clock Central Time. We have a scripture from the Word of God. We have a devotion that I wrote uh, around fishing and a fishing tip for every day. If you want your own copy of this book, you can get it at jimmyhouston.com. It makes great, great gifts. You want to buy an early Christmas gift for somebody, birthday gift, anniversary uh uh, to school, starting back to school gift, whatever. Uh, this is a great gift right here, under 20 bucks, and it's a gift that will uh, will change their life. It's a gift that will change their life because if they get more involved with God, God will get more involved with them. So it's a wonderful gift book. You can get them at jimmyhouston.com if you want one personalized autographed. We'll be happy to do it for that. Do that for you. Just let us know. Just let us know who you want an autograph to. You can also get them at Bass Pro Shop, Hobby Lobby, and Cabela's, and Books a Million, and Barnes and Noble, and all those places where books are sold. Uh, we have a scripture from the Word of God, a devotional built around fishing, and a fishing tip for every single day. Your life will get better, absolutely, no doubt about it. September 17, we're looking at the coffee channel. <laughs> Hebrews, that's right. <laughs> Hebrews. <laughs> Hebrews 11:26. Uh, Hebrews 11:26. Moses esteemed the reproach of Christ greater riches than the, rich, the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. God esteemed the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, for he looked toward the reward, the reward. What in the world could I write about that? When it comes to fishing line, just about every benefit comes with a negative of some sort. You have a positive and you have a negative with just about any fishing line you wind on your reels. Braid is tough, it's strong, it's got a small diameter, but it's got no stretch. It's harder to cast, harder to cast, especially if you put light line, like 8 or 10 pound test line on the casting reel. You backlash that sucker, you've got a serious problem, a serious problem. Fluorocarbon's pretty invisible underwater, but it's pretty unmanageable as well. It's stiffer, harder to cast, and it breaks unexpectedly. It breaks when it really shouldn't. You know, we pretty much, if you fish, say, 12 pound test line a lot, pretty much know where that 12 pound test line is going to break. You kind of know about how hard you can pull to try to get a bait loose before it breaks. Kind of know about how much pressure you could put on a fish before it's going to break your line. Fluorocarbon will break unexpectedly when you don't expect it to. Softer lines, really great to fish with. Soft lines, but they're not very abrasion resistant. So if you're fishing around brush or rocks or boat docks or stuff like that, they, they, they scratch up easily and you have to retie a lot more often. I could go on and on. Just about every fishing line, when you think of the positives for fishing that line, got a negative as well. Life paints, for you and me, lots of pretty pictures of success. Um, every day something happens that can give us success, give us a, a better day, have, give us maybe a more profitable day. Uh, but many of those successes that we have could require compromise. Sometimes things that look good to us, that looks like we could have a success or a victory or a win, requires compromise. 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 What is that anyway? That's saying or doing something that we know, you and I know, is immoral or ungodly. We compromise. We compromise what we know we should be doing. There's generally something pulling on us that it's attractive, generally glamorous, or that it offers money, more money. We make more money or we get power or fame. We're in an election year. Politicians are looking for power, power, power. And do they compromise their beliefs? Do they compromise what they know they should be doing? Yeah, many of them do. <laughs> I might even say most of them do. Maybe all of them, I'm not sure. I don't think all of them do. All we need to do is something, all we need to do is something we know that we shouldn't. That's what compromise is. We're doing something we know we shouldn't be doing, but we're doing it anyway. We're compromising our beliefs. What's our solution to that? How do you solve that problem when you're tempted to compromise your belief. And that's one of the biggest tools that the devil has in his tackle box. 
the tool of compromise. Oh, Jimmy, if you'll just say this or do this, you're going you're gonna to make this deal. If you just say this or do this, you're going to be better off. Compromise. He throws that at us. How do we fight that off? Faith. Faith. We fight it off with faith. We, that faith absolutely knowing that God has something better for you and me as we honor Him. He's got something better as we honor Him. He's got something better for us if we praise Him. He's got better for us if we thank Him for that greater reward. God always has a greater reward than whatever we are compromising for. Have I compromised during my long life on this earth? Yeah, I've done it many times. And each time, didn't work out right. Didn't work out right. We can compromise. We can do something we know we shouldn't, but we'll pay a heavy price for it. And we pay a heavy price because God's got something better when we don't compromise, when we don't compromise. You know, God doesn't tempt us. The devil tempts us. But God does test us occasionally. When God tests us, when God tests us, bring that faith to the top. Bring that faith to the top. Don't compromise. See what God's got in store. See what that greater riches than the treasures of Egypt is for you and me. Here's our tip for today. How to get a crankbait deeper. Real simple. We've been talking about fishing line. Nah, that's right. All y'all figured this out instantly, did you? We've been talking about fishing line. Lighter lines allow crankbaits to fish deeper. So if you're fishing a crankbait that's not quite hitting the brush or hitting the bottom or getting down and ticking the top of the grass like you want it to do, Put, a, put that same crankbait on a rod you got some lighter line tied on. That's what, usually what you should have in your boat is rods that's got line all the way from six up to about 20 or 25 pound test line, maybe even some braid in there, it's 50 pound test or bigger. So you can just simply change to a, a rod that's got lighter line on it if you want your crankbait to go deeper. Works just the opposite too. If your crankbait's going too deep, it's getting in the grass or getting in the moss or, or, or getting in places where you don't want it, go a little bit heavier line, it won't go quite as deep. Now maybe it's running right over the top of that moss, maybe right over the top of that thermocline. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great day. And remember, fish lucky, and I sure do love you.